Now then, welcome to another video. Um, so today, I'm going to take a look at my late Roman army, which I've just finished. Um, so all these foot saw miniatures, 28mm, uh, uh, and I've collected them to play to the strongest, um, but also Dux Ballorum. So what we'll do is we'll zoom in a little bit, different parts of the army, take a close look. Okay then, so we'll start with this command first. So this is my cavalry, one of my cavalry commands. So got light cavalry archers at the front there. Unit of veteran um, late Roman cavalry, another unit of veteran late Roman cavalry, the general, uh, and that unit there has got a hero. So a couple of things with these are um, my archers. Um, I actually put string in all their bows. Um, you know, because why wouldn't you? If you're a madman like myself, um, yeah, pretty happy with the way these have turned out to be honest um let's take a quick look at my general i can't remember if i've shown you these before but it's been a while since i made a video so there's the general there with his hand in the air that's the focus kind of and then his standard bearer and um, all the shield designs are from little big man and i think they're great uh, then moving across you've got the first unit of legionaries there these are actually auxiliaries these ones so i'm classing them as auxiliaries um, so all my auxiliary troops, if I'm a bit closer at them, um, are generally unarmoured. Uh, there's that one guy there who's armoured, but most of them are unarmoured. Um, some have got helmets on, some haven't, some are wearing hats. Um, so that's where I class them, uh, or tell them apart from the legionaries. Um, so moving across. We have unit of light infantry archers, and again, I've strung the bows on these just with a piece of um, thread. Apologies. Yeah, just a piece of thread there. Um, and then moving across, we've got another unit of auxiliaries there with the green and white shields. Um, oops. So with these, I um, I put a couple more sort of um, Romano-British type characters in there. What's the focus? So that guy there, he was pointing. Um, yeah. But again, these are auxiliaries, so most of them haven't got any armour on. Um, Again, shields, little bug, little big man, and for the Dracos, it's all just a bit. I just painted them to match in with the shield designs. Um, we've got Guinevere, the Guinevere model from Footsaw. That's a hero for that unit. I tried to paint the shield in the same colours as the rest of the unit. Uh, there, and then so the other half of my infantry force. Then um, what we've got is unit of legionaries. Um, the ones with the yellow shields are standard legionaries, and there's their hero there. Um, I'm pretty sure I've shown you these before. And unit of Lanciarii. Skirmishers with javelins, basically. Uh, and then this unit here with the red shields is my veteran legionaries, and they're all properly armoured. For these ones, I use the Romano British infantry, so they've got padded armour, some have got leather armour, little bits of chainmail here and there. But these are all fully chainmailed up, all these guys. So that's my um, veteran uh, legionary unit. Um, also with the infantry uh, contingent, we've got the bolt thrower. This is from Gripping Beast. Again, I put some um, some thread in to represent the for the um, mechanism there. And the other point to note on this one was the shield that the guy's holding um, is just a really weird shape um, from Gripping Beast. I, I think it actually says on their website um, none of the Gripping, sorry, none of the little big man shield transfers fit it because it's an odd shape. So what I did is I, I got a saw and cut it off and put a foot saw one in there so I could use the same shield designs as the rest. Um, which was a bit of a faff on but it's worth it I think. So that's that. And then the foot general, it's actually the Vortigan miniature. Here he is there, still at the front jaw and his sword. His standard bearer and a bodyguard at the back. 
Uh, and then just moving down, what we've got is my other cavalry command. So light cavalry there with javelins. Got veteran heavy cavalry and my cataphract cavalry with King Arthur leading them. We'll take a close look at those. Okay, so first of all then we've got King Arthur himself. This is the general of my army. There he is there with his um, spear. With his standard bearer. The King Arthur models are a one, one piece casting. Um, and normally you get a separate horse with a rider. Uh, but the King Arthur model is just one big chunk of metal, including the shield, it's all moulded together, which is quite nice to be honest. Come on, focus. Oh, there we are. Um, yeah, really pleased how he how he turned out. So yeah, Arthur, the ducks below them. Cool. So that's him. Um, and then I've got some veteran. This is. Uh, Represent his companions. Uh, these cavalry. I gave them all individual shields, different coloured spears. Um, that's one there. And then the other chunk of them. Really like these shields, I think they're great. And going with the foot saw miniatures, I think they're brilliant. Um, yeah. Had to beat the uh, foot saw miniatures late Romans, I think. Excellent figures. And then I've got the hero from my cataphracts, which is the Belisarius model. And there he is. Um, again, two piece casting, so his body is separate, so you've got to pin him together and then stick his shield on. But um, I think he turned out quite well. Quite well. And then the cataphracts themselves, here they are, big armoured horses, big long lances. I gave them a purple colour scheme to represent a kind of an elite. Um, I think the Praetorian Guard back in, back in the day would have worn purple, or the Emperor's wore purple. So as an elite unit, I don't know, I just gave them purple. I think they look quite cool in purple. That's those. Um, and the other half of the unit. I do apologise, not the camera. Just reaching over to get these. Yeah, and there they are. There's the other half of the unit. Ah, oh, that guy there with his lance levelled. Little chain mail all over his face and stuff. Pretty cool. And there's the unit leader. Very nice figures. Really quick to paint, actually, because most of it's just armour, to be honest. So, yeah. That's the full army. Let's just put these back and we'll have a, a quick look at the full army again. Uh, and call it a day. Okay then, so there's the full army. Um, the last thing I need to show you, um, which I nearly forgot, was the watchtower. So, into the strongest you need to have a camp. Um, so I thought, instead of just a couple of tents and barrels, I thought I'd make myself a, um, a Roman watchtower. So this is made out of... Um, Coffee stirrers from Costa, um, glued together, and the roof is made out of a, a scouring pad. So now we have in the kitchen the uh, the green pads that you scrub your pans with, and that. Um, just one of those, cut up to make make it look like thatch. Um, yeah, does a job. It's a little bit, it's a little bit wonky and stuff, but I suppose by this period of time the. The famed Roman legionaries who were all engineers and built bridges and amazing structures were all long gone so um, this is maybe an old watchtower that's been being maintained and it's a little bit worse for wear. Um, yeah. So I put the, the late Roman symbol on there and, and the 6th sixth, sixth Victrix uh, legion which was based up in York so it kind of fits with the probably Garrison Hadrian's Wall and stuff so yeah. There's the army. All done. I shall stop waffling now. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, what to do next? That's the question. Anyway, I shall speak to you soon. Bye-bye.